Hello, I'm Jackie, and this is my second underwater robot, the Dolphin V2. Today, I want to talk about the technology that I use to create this robot. For example, what are the components inside the electronic tube, and how are they connected together? So let's get started. Hi, here is a demonstration on how my ROV works. And there are two sides, and this is the shore side, and this is the ROV side. And this these two sides are connected through these networking cables. And these networking cables serve two purposes. The first purpose is to con conduct the signal between the computer and the ROV. And the other purpose is to provide power to the ROV. So how does this work? So this is how it looks like inside a networking cable. There are four twisted pair of copper wire and for conducting networking signal you only need to use two pair two pairs. So there are another two pairs I can use for providing power to the ROV. So in the shore side and the ROV side there are also this this board for splitting up the the networking signal and the power from, from this tether. So it's basically like like this. You will split these two for conducting signal and these two for conducting the power. In the shore side, there is a 48 volt power source, a router, and a computer. So first, the control signal is sent from the computer to the router through Wi-Fi, and then this networking cable will link the router to the tether. So the control signal can be sent to the to the ROV side. So after the tether carry the signal and the power to the ROV side, this board will separate the signal and the power. First, the power is connected to this 48 volt to 12 volt transformer, and this signal is connected to this Raspberry Pi computer. After the 48 volt is transformed into 12 volt. The 12 volt is connected to this brushless motor driver, and also connected to this tiny little 12 volt to 5 volt transformer. And the 5 volt is used to power the this Arduino Nano board and also this Raspberry Pi computer. The RV side, there is a brushless motor which, which is used to, to make the thruster of the RV, and there are two servo. These two servo are used to turning these two sets of fins for diving and turning direction. And there are also the LED lights here. And here is a water sensor. So with this sensor, I can know whether my electronic tube has water leakage or not. So all this stuff are connected to the Arduino Nano board through this extension board and they are controlled by this Arduino Nano board. The Arduino Nano board is connected to the Raspberry Pi computer. So after the Raspberry Pi computer receives the control signal from the networking cables, it will send the control signal to the Arduino Nano board. And then the Arduino Nano board will tell the servos, the motor driver, the LED what to do. A USB camera is, is also connected to the Raspberry Pi computer. It is used to provide live streaming video to my computer on the shore, so I can know what the ROV is looking while it is under the water. This shows all the components in the ROV side and how they connected together. Next, I will talk about how I use my computer to control my ROV. This is my computer, and you can see that there is no cable connected from this computer to the setup. And all the data transmission is sent to the this router through Wi-Fi. So in the left hand side of my computer screen, you can already see that there is a web page showing the live streaming video of the ROV side. Hello! And it is because I have installed a MJPEG streamer web server in the Raspberry Pi. So I just need to type this Web, web address in any web browser. In this time, I use the Chrome browser. 
and then I can access the web server and watch the live streaming video. So now the live streaming video is good. About the control, I open a terminal in the right hand side of my computer. And then I use SSH to log into my Pi computer. The 192.168.0.100 is the IP address of my Pi computer. And then I need to type in the password. And after that, I'm inside the Raspberry Pi computer. And then I open up this Minicom program. And then do the zero port setup. So Minicom is a Linux program which is used for serial communication. And then after that, I exit. So now I can talk to the Arduino Nano board by using the Minicom program and the keyboard. For example, I can switch on the light by pressing the Q button. And I can also switch it off by pressing the same button. <laughs> and I can also turn the servo arm, the two servo arm. And I can also turn on the, mo the process motor. And in the ex extension board, I have a V2 LM35 thermometer, so I can also check the temperature. So I can know whether there is uh, overheating in my electronic tube or not. Okay, so that is how I control the RV by using my computer. Thanks for watching. If you want to see the first water testing of this robot, please click this video. And I also have another video which is about how I make this robot. So see you later. Bye!